Continuing on with Remembrance of the Cousin. Uh, I remember we were like, me and my cousin, I, we were like, I'm thinking biking around town or possibly walking around town, but this was after I had moved. This was after I had moved to Wisconsin and he was still living in Minnesota. So I don't know why I would have been biking unless he had a bike there that I was, maybe it was his stepbrother's bike and he let me borrow it. But I remember uh, my cousin at this point telling me about what going out with a girl meant. I think this might have been the first time, probably the first time I heard this expression, to go out with a girl. So he's trying to educate me on this, trying to help me out. Um, so going out, so he was telling me, like, it doesn't literally mean that you're going somewhere with the girl, but the expression at least from what I got out of it, that telling me that the, he, he was telling me about the expression just means like, I guess another way of uh, putting it is that I've heard is going steady. Uh, basically like boyfriend and girlfriend having like a relationship. But it is kind of a funny way of saying it. Go out. But you're not actually going out anywhere. You could, though. You should. I, I didn't. Not when I was in school. Like, I would, I would have these girlfriends in, like, fifth and sixth grade and, and like, even seventh that I would call, I would consider them my girlfriend, but... I, it was just like a status thing. and We never went anywhere. We never did anything together. It was just like a, yep, okay, you're my girlfriend. And then we never even talked to each other. So it was really weird. Uh, so I wasn't mature enough to do anything with them. Just a thing that I remember uh, kids saying in, in back in uh, the late 80s, early 90s, going out, but not actually going anywhere. Kind of embarrassing remembering that, how, how uh, immature I was with girls back then. Um, I remember me and my cousin, we were playing in this barn, we were playing in, playing in this barn, so I remember playing around in this, this hay in this barn, I think it was, I think it was, well, I think it's this, so this was, not going chronological to what I said previously, so this is a little earlier, pretty sure. So it was me, my cousin, and my cousin's older brother, and I guess probably their mother had driven us here. I think it might have been my uncle's place, like out in the country. I think it was the 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 uncle that had a horse. So it might have been it might have been around this 
it might have been the same time where I had touched the electric fence. Maybe, maybe it was that, that, that around that time. I just remember playing in this barn with my cousin, just running around the hay. That was kind of fun. So there wasn't any, I don't remember any animals around. My uncle had so other than the, than this than the horse, my uncle had a dog, but I don't remember any other animals other than that. Oh, also, I remember me and my cousin and my other cousin, his brother, were just walking down the road from the barn. I think I vaguely remember us swearing a lot. We were just like, I think we were talking about what our favorite swear words were, maybe. Now, jumping around with a chronology um, on my notes here. So I'm just, I didn't, like, when I wrote my notes, I was just writing them down as I remembered them. And then afterwards, after I had all these notes, I was thinking, well, yeah, it's not very chron chronological. I could go through all the notes and make new notes in chronological order from what I can remember. But I didn't want to do that because that would have taken a long time. So this is not chronological. This is something that happened much later. This memory. This memory note. Um, so this was like... <coughs> this was probably like... Uh, either the year that my cousin died, or the year bef before my cousin died. So I think at this, at this point... Um, I wasn't really communicating with him, which I'll discuss later why. Because, uh, yeah, I don't remember being friendly with him at this time. I just remember, okay, so I remember my cousin, he gave me one of his school pictures. And... I still have it. I, it's in my one of my photo al albums. Um, so he gave me one of his school pictures, and I don't even remember giving him a school picture of mine to him. I don't remember doing that. If I did, I did. I don't think I wrote anything on the back, but he, but my cousin did. He wrote something on the back of the picture, his his school picture that he, he had given me. I don't think he gave it to me in person. I think maybe my mother had given it to me. It's like, here, your cousin gave you this school school picture of himself. So he, on the back he wrote. I remember feeling kind of like, hmm, huh, I don't really care for what he wrote at the time. It like, seemed kind of like picking on me. Um, so on the back, my cousin had written um, on, the, on his photo on the other side. He said, Something like, I'm saying I'm t that I'm, he's telling me, I'm too young for, he either said girls or women. I think he might have said women, which was true. Saying, I'm, I'm too young for women, so stay away. Might have even put an exclamation point on that. So I'm not sure why he said that, but at the time I was thinking, well, that's kind of that's kind of mean. Like I felt like I was being picked on. Like give me a give me a, a school photo and then say something on the back that's kind of being makes me feel like I'm being picked on. So that's kind of funny. So I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, maybe he didn't want to give me the photo and he's like, well, all right, I'll give him a photo, but I'm gonna pick on him. I'm gonna say something on the back. 
about him. He needs to stay away from women. So I don't know why. Why he? Why did he feel like he had to write that on the back? Why did he have to tell me that I need to stay away from women? Maybe because he felt that I was not very mature. Like he felt like I was too immature to. Like, maybe he felt like I would just embarrass myself if I was around women. Not even to try. So I need to stay away. So, I think possibly he was probably more mature than I was uh, at the time in relation to the females. So, maybe he just... thought that and decided to make sure that I knew that I was too immature to be around women so I should just stay away from them. It would be depressing to say forever. He didn't say that though, but like just to, to think, well you, you're so immature, you're going to stay immature so you should always stay away from women. That's a depressing thought. So hopefully it was just temporarily stay away from women, which I did. So kind of, I think it was kind of unnecessary for him to have said that. I don't know, maybe just thought it was funny to, funny to say that. His, his stepbrother also had given me a school photo of himself, and, and he said pretty much the same thing on the back of his school photo. I think one of them one of them said stay away from girls and the other one said stay away from women. So it's like they were having this interaction with each other. Oh, we're going to give we're going to give uh, uh school photos to to your cousin and what should we say on the back and or maybe one of them saw what they had written so they were like, "Oh, okay, I'm going to write this." But they were both kind of similar like one said stay away from girls, the other one said stay away from women. Maybe the first one wrote women, and they were like, well, women, that's not really appropriate. Say girls, because he's going he's gonna to stay away from women anyway. I don't know. I'm just guessing. So they, they, had, wrote, they had written some, uh, very similar things on their school photos that they had get, given me. Um... I'm going to stop this.